morning. Welcome to Clean Eats 101. We are on day three, which means that we are still counting down our favorite Thanksgiving side dishes. And today we're at number eight, which is broccoli casserole. So this is super easy. Again, probably already have all this stuff in your pantry and refrigerator. So you can either use frozen broccoli or fresh broccoli, whichever you decide. What I already went ahead and did to save us time is I went ahead and I brought my fresh broccoli florets to a boil, let them boil for about five minutes, and I wanted them to stay green. So, you know, you can remember your grandma's broccoli casserole and the broccoli was kind of greenish brown. We don't want to do that because when you do that, you are wasting all the nutrients that's inside this broccoli. So you want it to still be vibrant green. So I've drained that. I've put it into a casserole dish. Next step is making a cheese sauce. Super easy. So I've already melted my butter into this pan. And we are going to add in some whole wheat flour and some whole milk. We're going to whisk all of that together, get your base, and then you're just going to add the good yummy stuff, which is the cheese. You're going to add freshly shredded Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Did I sound Italian right there? And some shredded cheddar cheese. And what we're going to do is we're just going to melt that down and make a thick cheese sauce for our broccoli. And make sure that your pan has already been greased. So you can use your butter for that. And we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of black pepper to give it a little spicy kick. And that is it. So normally when you would make your broccoli casserole, you probably used the can, cream of whatever cheese, whatever those red pans have in them. I'm not even sure. But at least now you know exactly what's going in here. And seriously, how easy was that? That took probably less time than it did to um, open the can and scoop that goopy weird stuff out. So then you're just going to pour, I mean, look how thick that is. That is some real cheese mixture right there, people. And this freezes beautifully. So you can always go ahead and make this ahead of time for Thanksgiving. Move that off to the side and just kind of stir that into there. And this is going to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven temperature. And then our last ingredient goes on the top. And that is our whole wheat breadcrumbs. And you're just going to put those on top. Remember my mom used to put Ritz crackers on top, but we are putting actual whole wheat breadcrumbs on there. So you can see, super easy, delicious. It's going in the oven. Check out the recipe on cleaneats101.com. And we'll see you tomorrow for number seven on our top ten countdown.